Hello, Panic at the Tesco here. Welcome to another Gran Turismo lap time tutorial. This week I'm going to be showing you all of the tips and tricks needed for any novice driver to take on the gold medal at Watkins Glen in this, the Skoda Vision Gran Turismo. It's a 1000 horsepower electric car with no gears on four wheel drive and it's also got active aero. You'll notice that I've got a snazzy new livery and in all of my videos now we're going to be seeing some interesting fun liveries on the car. And you'll also notice that I've invested a lot of time in editing these videos now. I'm learning to do professional video editing and I'm still learning the way but hopefully you'll notice a few nice little tweaks including slow motion and call outs for all of the important information that you need. I'd like to take a minute just to thank all of the subscribers that I've gained in the last few weeks and all of the people who viewed and commented on my videos I really appreciate it and I've put in a lot more effort into this video in order to say thank you. One last thing before we start and that is that I've changed the format of the video slightly as well. We're going to do something a little interesting this week. I'm going to start with the usual nose cam lap going through corner by corner very slowly explaining what to do and then we're going to do the usual full speed lap with the chase cam. What's different is that I have then received footage from a silver level driver who is wondering what they need to do differently in order to get gold. So stick around, at the end of the video you'll see my critique of a silver level lap and this will give you some pointers for mistakes maybe that you're making in order to help you get a gold. So here we are at Watkins Glen to have a look at getting a gold lap. The target is a 136.7 and my lap that I'm going to show you is a 135.225. So it's about a second and a half faster than the gold. Therefore, you don't have to replicate everything that I do in order to get the gold. You can lose up to a second and a half and still get it. It must be said that my lap was lacking around two tenths compared to my optimum pace. I didn't nail every corner but it's still a very good lap. I hope that you can learn a lot from it. As with all of my tutorials, I recommend having traction control turned off, ABS turned on weak, and any other assists also turned off. Since this is an electric car, it doesn't have gears, so it doesn't matter whether you have automatic or manual. And without further ado, let's crack on and have a look at a gold lap. So as we come down into turn one, look for the 400 meter board. You want to brake and keep to the left and then follow the road in. Follow these markings on the road and you're aiming just to clip the inside of the rumble strip. I just miss it, it's not really a big deal. Get on the power nice and early and then run the car all the way out and really use the track limits here, all the way to the left. Now we're going to turn across from the outside of the track and hug onto the inside. Full throttle all the way up the S's if you turn in nice and early, you should be able to make both with full throttle. Coming up to the bus stop, we want to be braking at the 400 meter board again. Now try and get two wheels over the rumble strip on the right, and then two wheels on the rumble strip on the left. Then, let the car flow through the corners, don't use the brakes or the accelerator. Now apply gentle throttle and keep the car to the inside. Don't accelerate until you see the marshal's post on the right. Then let the car run all the way to the outside of the track using the full width of the rumble strip. Keep your eyes on the Coca-Cola board on the right. As soon as it goes off screen, that's where you brake. You want to reduce the amount of braking as you turn into the apex to allow the car to maintain the inside line. As soon as you can see the exit of the corner appear, then you put full throttle and carry as much speed as possible down this straight. Braking at the 200 meter board, you turn across onto the dark section of the track. I missed my turning point here and had to manage a lot of understeer through the corner, costing me time. You want to be hugging the inside. If you do run wide, square off the apex like I have here because you want to maximize the exit speed down this straight. So keep an eye out for the 200 meter board. This is where we brake. Brake hard and in a straight line 
and to turn across and try and touch the apex on the inside. I slightly missed the apex here, but what's really important is only get on full throttle once you know that you can make the exit of the corner. Brake at the 200 meter board and then try and get the car in and take a late apex here on this section of rumble strip just at the exit of the corner and then straighten up the car and get on full power as soon as you can. As you pass the 200 meter board just gently press the brake, half braking and turning the car across the apex. Roll the car by letting it coast and then get on full power once you're on the exit strip. Now as you pass the little tyre barrier on the left you want to brake very gently and again just let the car roll through and only accept full power once you're confident that you're not going to run wide. The goal here is to maximise the amount of speed taken down the straight. Now it's time to see the full speed lap taken from the chase cam view. I'm going to narrate this as we go. So I'm braking at the 400 meter board and trying to turn across. I do miss the apex but I prioritise the exit speed and use the full rumble strip. I'm turning in from that rumble strip nice and early and hooking that inside. I'm turning in as I see the sides of Moj over the brow of the hill. You can keep this full throttle down here. Uh, this is relatively easy to keep full throttle if you get your turnings right. For the bus stop, we're going to brake at that 400 board again and get, try and get two wheels across. This all happens very quickly, so you've got to balance the car. Now be really patient and keep the car to the inside, and you're going to accelerate as you pass the Marshall Point. Use the full width of the track. Looking for that Coca Cola sign and braking, and just gently easing off the brake to turn the car in and getting on full power on the exit. So carried really nice speed down here. Braking at the 200 board. This is where I make a mistake, so I do run onto the marbles, but I square off the apex because I really want to get my, uh, out, uh, my exit speed quite fast. And now I'm looking for the 200 board, braking hard, hard, hard. I do run wide of the apex, but I'm very good about how I get on the power. I use the full of the track, 200 meter board, and I'm taking a late apex here. So you see, I just hooked that apex quite late, run the car all the way out. And now for the 200 board, I just lift off and coast around the corner and on full power once I can. And again here, just dab the brakes, coasting, coasting, full power now. And there we go. That is a lap. Okay, we're braking at the right point, and the turn in looks good, but we're not using the whole width of the track on the exit, so we could have been going a lot faster at this stage. We could have been going about five miles an hour faster if we would have stayed far over to the left. And now what we've done is compromised our turn in to the next corner by starting far, far, far to, to the right. We need to be as far to the left as possible so that we open up the corner, and then we can take as much speed as we can through it. We're also having to fight with the traction control a little bit up here so really you need to have the traction control off it'll give your car more grip braking at the right point but then we're not using all of the curb on the right hand side we needed to be far more aggressive and turn in earlier and sweep across the entire curb all four wheels on it and we're not using the full amount of track on the left either so what we're doing here is we're turning the car for far more sharply than it needs to be turned uh, because we're not using all of the track that's available to us we're now pinned to the inside, so this is going to compromise the exit of the bus stop as we do the next left and then right. So this is quite good. Uh, we're picking up the accelerator at exactly the right point, although we're not using the full width of the track like we should. So really um, needed to stay on the accelerator at this point and run the car all the way out onto the exit curb, two wheels on the curb, using the little bit of tarmac on the outside as well. So this corner actually looks quite all right. Uh, nice late apex and on the power quite smoothly. This is really good. We're breaking out the 200 meter board, which is the right point for the uphill hairpin. The line looks really good as well, hugging the inside and then on full power nice and smoothly, running the car to the outside. So these corners actually look really good. Braking too early here, uh, about 50 metres too early, maybe even 100 metres too early. However, the exit of the corner looked really good, uh, using the full width of the track and accelerating nice and early as well. 
And now the dab on the brakes get into the next left hander actually looks fairly decent and the acceleration is quite okay as well. And now, okay, braking way too hard and turning in too early, uh, not using the full width of the track here, so losing a couple of miles an hour there just by not running the car as fast as it could through the apex and using all of the track at the out, uh, outside of the track. Again, you want to be leaving a few wheels over the kerbs there and then getting the car sharply over to the left. And this final corner, the braking's just a little bit hard, losing a tiny bit of apex speed but it looks fairly smooth and get on the power fairly well. It just needs to be maybe just 5% faster through the apex, so maybe just a tiny little bit less braking. That concludes Blitzwing's lap, and with that, we're running to the end of the video. I would like to say thank you to Blitzwing for donating this replay. If you're watching this and want to be featured in a future video, let me know in the comments section and we can work together and put together a review of one of your own laps. I'd be more than happy to give you advice and tell you how to get those gold medals. If you found the video useful, please consider liking and subscribing to the video. The more subscriptions and likes that I get, the more the YouTube algorithm boosts the videos. I'm still thrilled that my last video went viral. I really didn't expect it, but I'm going to put in more and more effort into these videos now. This one took several hours to prepare, rather than several minutes like my previous ones. I'm learning all of the tips and tricks for editing videos now, and I'm putting in a lot more effort into these. Please let me know all of your feedback in the comments section. If it helped you, give me a shout out. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. I'm already preparing a video on the Sony Afila concept car, which we're going to be driving around uh, uh, Lake Maggiore. I've set a very competitive time in that, inside the top 1000, and I reckon I can go even faster. So we're just going to watch the end of this lap now as we come round, and I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm look looking forward to seeing you in the next one, which will be even better and Hopefully, I'll upload it on time. Have a good night.